Hi students, this is Alex here. In this question, they have given f of z is u plus iv, which is a regular function of z in a domain D. And we have to prove this. Let's take f of z. f of z is given as u plus iv. We need mod f of z which means it is root of u square plus v square and again we need square of it so mod f of z whole square will become only u square plus v square now let's take the left hand side which is having del operator so del square of f of z with modulus square so it is del square of u square plus v square and now the del operator the formula is the del square is dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square. So now when we take it here dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square of u square plus v square. Now we have to take this separately that is dou square by dou x square u square plus dou square by dou x square v square plus dou square by dou y square u square plus dou square by dou y square v square now coming to the first part we are going to differentiate this u square then second v square again u square with respect to y v square with respect to y now coming to this derivative of u square so when i split this dou square by dou x square as dou by dou x of dou by dou x of u square so the second derivative we have split into two part so that it is easier to continue the derivative in the next step in the same way this is dou by dou x of dou by dou x of v square similarly dou by dou y of dou by dou y of u square plus dou by dou y of dou by dou y of v square now i have to continue the derivative for all the inner terms so coming to this the first term dou by dou x we have as it is now derivative of u square is 2u again by chain rule derivative of u with respect to x is u x in the same way dou by dou x of derivative of v square is 2 v into derivative of v with respect to x is v x then dou by dou y of this is 2 u and with respect to y now so u y and here it is dou by dou y of 2v into derivative of v with respect to y is v y. Now as a next step we have product of two terms. So 2u is one term, ux is another term. So we have to use a product rule. So first term derivative is 2ux and second term we keep as it is plus first term we keep as it is 
and second term derivative with respect to x is u x x. In the same way, coming to the second part, derivative of 2 v, this is again product rule we are going to apply. So, its derivative is 2 v x and uh, second term we keep as it is. Again, first term 2 v we keep as it is, second term de derivative is v x x. Now, coming to this, again 2u and u y we have. So, I will start it here. With respect to y, derivative of 2u is 2u y and second term we keep as it is. Again, first term we keep as it is and second term derivative with respect to y is u y y and last term, first term derivative that is 2v and v y we have. 2v is 2v y second term we keep as it is and first term we keep as it is and second term with respect to y is v y y. Now we are going to group the terms which is having u x x and u y y first. So let us write it here. In these two we shall take 2 u common then we get u x x plus u y y. In the same way, let us take v x x and v y y term. So, from this let us take 2 v common. So, v x x and v y y. So, we have grouped it and apart from that the remaining terms are first term is 2 u x square and this is 2 v x square and again 2 u y square and the last term is 2 v y square. Now, since it is harmonic, it satisfies the Laplace equation. That is Laplace equation is dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square will be 0 and the same thing dou square v by dou x square plus dou square u by sorry v by dou y square is also 0. So, these two terms becomes 0. Now, first term is 2u into 0, second term is 2v into 0. Now, using CR equation, we know ux equal to vy and uy is minus vx. So, I am going to change whatever in terms of y in terms of x itself with respect to x itself. So, these two terms let us write as it is 2ux square plus 2vx square plus 2 minus vx square in place of uy we have replaced as vx and again the last term we can change it as ux using this first CR equation. So, 2 into ux whole square. Now, finally, we can combine these two as 4 times of ux square and after squaring this becomes positive and we add with the another term to get 4 vx square. Now, taking 4 common we get ux square plus vx square and this is nothing but f dash of z modulus whole square. So, which gives the right hand side. So, finally, we got the proof. We took the LHS which is del square f mod f z whole square and we continued and finally we got a term which is nothing but the 4 into mod 
f dash of z whole square and that becomes the right hand side of the given equation.